<laughs> His voice <laughs> projects many, the feeling. Yeah. How, how many, many songs, times? you know, like make you like feel something different? Like each track is like a, a whole different experience, you know. And you know, I was in the club somewhere near the it, bar. It, yeah. Like, oh my, <laughs> right, I, I'm right, hurt. Right. I mean, I'm not on the gate, but damn. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm on the dance floor. I'm feeling you. And I, you know, I'm like, yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> I'm doing the story. It's so funny you know that you mentioned that song. Because the first time I heard that song, I heard it, uh, what was it, on 89.9. You know how you, you coming home from yep. the party. Yep. And it's like yeah. about 3 o'clock in yep. the morning. And they play in the house and everything. And I was like, oh, I was like, I don't even drink at the bar. But I right. like that song. <laughs> I was on a song. all, y'all, you. The DJs are all protectors of this music because without us, it's not going to survive and it's not going to be taken care of properly and handed off to your daughter, my child, her children, your children. You know how beautiful house music is? How much peace it brings? You don't hear about no killings and crazy gang fights up in mm -hmm. a house joint well, basically, you don't hear for us. You're trying to keep house music alive. It, I mean, exactly. that's what it's about, right. keeping it alive. Rhonda, and I would like to say thank you for, the, to me, this is like an informal education tutorial uh -huh. for those that don't know, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, I love that. I appreciate that.